Today, we start another one. We've seen this one before, I've done one before, and I have several of these castings, but this one is going to be for a raffle. So, if you're interested in it, I'll be sure to leave all the links and everything so you can get in on it. But it's going to be more of a NASCAR themed one. So let's get into it and we'll discuss exactly what we're going to do. Now, I don't follow NASCAR. I used to like it pretty good. And back in the day, I had two favorite drivers. One was Davey Allison and one was Dale Earnhardt. And Dale Earnhardt, you know, he passed away in a crash. So this is what this car is going to be. It's going to be a black number three with a few more decals on it and NASCAR wheels and tires. So with that stated, it's, you know, it's not going to be that complicated of a build, but of course we're going to have to paint a few things, change a few things. So, first thing we're going to do as always is get this bad boy apart. But as always, a little bit of oil. No, it's just a dab. And this has pretty good post on and everything, so they're pretty easy to drill out. Main thing is just make sure you're going straight. And of course we'll be getting rid of these so we'll have to be making some axle tubes and everything. We'll go ahead and make sure everything's cleaned out now. And we'll be cleaning this later but you know you just want to make sure you get everything you can out of any metal shavings that were left over or, or whatever. You know just clean it up as you go. Makes life a lot easier down the road. Get us a container. Keep everything in. And while this is in the strip and everything, we'll take care of this. Once you get it drilled, and I don't tap mine because the drill bits that I use, I really don't need it. I mean, yes, the tap makes it easier for the threads, the screws to go in. It really does, but I have found that if you tap it, there really is not much thread in there. So if you had to crank down on it, or multiple taking it back and forth, you know, on and off, on and off, in and out, in and out, that it will actually strip the hole. So I have found for me that if I don't tap it and just use the right size tap, that it just works better for me, is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm just knocking all the burrs and rough edges off so it goes on and off to the base real good. You see that one's kind of cockeyed from where I drilled it and sometimes when you hit it with that big drill bit to knock the head off it does that all you gotta do is take your file and just square it back off or at least halfway square it off it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be up under the plastic but as you can see right there it's a lot better now we just round it off then we'll make sure it goes in and out of the base real good and some of these jokers, this one was a bear to get the plastic out of the body. I mean, it was a bear. I don't know what was going on with it. Man, I've never had one that hard before. I'll show you what I mean. But for these, for the interiors to go in, they have to go in straight. Just like so. And this right here on this side is hitting. It's almost like it's dented. But as you can see, there's a casting line right there that's really hard. So... After I get this clean off, I'm going to knock those lines down and I might end up having to file this out of the plastic just a little bit because you don't want to have to force this in and out with a screwdriver every single time. And that kind of dampens what I'm trying to do with this because now I have to guesstimate at the tires and wheels, you know, because the interior is not in it. So when I go, but I know the tires and wheels that I'm going to use fit because that's, that's how it goes together right there. Yeah, we're going to be filing down some of this stuff because it's just too tight right in there. It catches. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See, this should be going in right now, but instead it's hitting right there on that front edge. So we'll be filing that down after we get her stripped. And that brings us to the next step. Yep. we got to get her into the North Carolina red clay. And it won't be long, we'll be getting a, a new batch of this, but this is working fine for now. So, in she goes. Dee, 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 dee. And then the chain breaks. 
We tried to lower in slow, but it didn't quite work. <laughs> bye bye. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, let's see what we got here. And these are the tires and wheels I was actually thinking about using. As you can see, they're good years. Came off of a NASCAR casting. So let's just see what all we have in here. Okay, we've got big and skinnies. So that'll work if I need to. That's probably what I'll put on there. But the fronts are like real riders and the back are plastic. So let me see what else I got. That'll work really good together. I may just use four small ones. White letter. I do like those big ones on there then. I think those will look really good. So we've got two sets of real riders, two sets of plastic ones, and then the, the white ones. Those will look really good on there together, but they're different colors. So I'd either have to take the good year off or run these together. Now I don't really think anybody would notice, but let's take a look and see how they look. Because if you look at the base, it's got big and medium so we're going big and medium here because there's the mediums that's pretty much the same size and then the big back ones they're a little smaller in diameter or circumference as you can see but we're going to be trimming this filing this off just a little bit on front and back so it really won't matter so i think that's what we're going to do so the big ones and i said small ones I should be able to just go up on here and pry up and it come right off and it did. And I actually left the old tabs on there but I don't know if I'll be able to reuse those or not. Because the front is going to be way, well, I don't know, it's actually not that wide. See if we can get them in there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to build an axle tube for the back, but the front I don't need one. But I am going to have to file these off just a little bit because I can see right now that's gonna hit, so dang it. Oh well, that's part of the process, so let's get to it. I believe what I'm gonna do is try to flatten it first and then round the edges. So I'm gonna use a piece of 150 sandpaper and just Hit it like that. As you can see, it's pretty quick. I'm going to be painting the base anyway. Yes, this is going to be a black car. The base is going to be black. The body is going to be black. But with that stated, I think we'll take it all the way down. Or pretty close to it. With that being stated, I always paint my bases to match the body color. 99% of the time very rarely do I not do it but as you can see right there that's that's pretty flat I'm not gonna take it all the way down to the base because I don't feel like I need to I kind of got that too but like I said this whole thing is gonna be primed and I'll touch up the bottom with some detail paint but this will get cleaned up really good before we prime it and paint it. I'll degrease it and all that stuff but let's get the actual tube made for it now all right I have this leftover piece my project I started and it's almost a perfect fit almost but I think that will work once I get it to where it sits down in there flat so I'm gonna take my file and run back and forth and actually open this up to where it's flat all the way down but basically all I'm gonna be doing is put my file in this groove and I'm just gonna be working it back and forth until it goes all the way down and then we just have to make sure that we glue the axle tube in square. Uh, let's see how it does. You can see I've got it opened up all the way down on both sides. Now we just want to make sure the axle tube goes in there and sits flat. And this is exactly what it's doing. So we are good to go there. I'm not going to glue it in yet because like I said I'm going to be painting, priming and painting the base. 
So I'm not going to do that just yet, but that's pretty much it. Body's ready, the base is ready. Now all we've got to do is wait on the body. It's time to clean this casting off. Still wet, so I gotta take care of that. And there's still some, you know, dirt here and there that we gotta get off. Main thing is we gotta dry it first, right? And then we're gonna do a little bit of filing to make sure the base fits like it's supposed to. Because remember I was saying it's having trouble with it. And then we're gonna hit it with steel wool. But while I've got it right here, I can look and see if there's any body lines that need to be finished or casting lines like right there. Got that one. And these bone shakers are typically in very, very good shape. There's not that much that needs to be done to it. As far as casting lines, they really do a pretty good job. And I still got to put the screws in. I forgot to do that. But as you can see, most of the casting lines are on the inside anyway right there so all that'll be here so all I'm going to do is go along my brass bristle brush hit all the grooves make sure I get everything out of it I mean I could really just stop with that and then prime it and paint it but that's not how we do things here get the inside of it real good well best we can I might try to hit that casting line with a file because it goes all the way around the perimeter and we want this to fit together as good as it can you know and as easy as it can so and the window needs to be cleaned up a little bit too so let's get the files out and hit that stuff I'm going to start with this by here. As you can see, there's a body, there's a mold casting line right there. Goes along the back, down the sides, right there. And then I need to take care of this right here at the window. And then I need to take care of this right here on both sides and try the base to see how it goes in it. So let me get to work on that. I'll start with this right here. And you just want to hit it and you know, you don't want to just sit here and work in one spot because you're going to end up with a mess because it'll be uneven. So what you want to do is you want to hit it the full length if you can. Alright, we've gotten it all the way around. And we'll check to see what will be seen. If we think it's something that will be seen, we'll hit it with some sandpaper and straighten it out. So, now let's work on the fitment issue, which is right here on both sides. I want to see how this fits now. Oh yeah, see that goes in and out perfect now. Before, I had to use a screwdriver to pop it out, but that is perfect. That is exactly what we look for. Now I can check the wheels because I have an idea for the back wheels also. I don't know just yet. I'm going to try it and see how it works. But first I want to hit this with steel wool. Go ahead and get that cleaned off. Because the front wheels I'm using fit without any problem. And I want the back wheels to do the same. But I actually have it set up now for axle tubes. So we may go that way anyway, but we'll see. And the steel wool, it's, you just go up with steel wool. And that kind of gives it a smoother, polished finish thing. And this joker, hmm. It shows some pitting, but it's nothing bad, nothing major. It's going to get primed and all that good stuff anyway. We're just giving it a good clean surface for the primer and the paint to stick to. 
All right, let me see how this is going to work. So I've got it set up now to where I can run, uh -oh, to where I can run the bigger tires in the back. I mean, I know they'll look good. They will. Look how big those are. But with that stated, I want it to have that NASCAR look. If I'm going to run real riders on the front, I'd rather run real riders on the back. So let's see if they'll fit and if they'll work. Oh yeah, they fit right in there. I'll see how they look. If it looks like they're going to be too small, then we can't use them. But if it looks like it's going to have the stance right, we can. I mean, it looks really good, but how is it going to roll? Oh yeah, we can do that. I think that's the game right there. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I mean, these would look a lot better with them being that wide, but the stance just looks better with those. Like I said, these are actually rubber real rudder tires and these are plastic. You can see the difference in the color and everything. So that would have looked kind of odd, but here's how it looks stance-wise. I think it still looks really good. Rolls really good too. I just blew this off with air to get any dust and stuff off of it. But what I wanted to show you was I did end up polishing or sanding the sides of this to get those uh, dimples and stuff out of the side of the body. Now it's nice and flat. So what I stated, I'm going to start with the inside, outside, light coats, and then heavier coats. Next up, we do the gloss black on the bone shaker. That way we can get the gloss black on, get the decals on, and then get the clear coat on. So of course, we always want to blow it off.
make sure there's no dust. You don't need our paint. And I always spray the base first just to make sure because if there's any problems, I'd rather have problems on the base than I would the top. Now we move on to the body. Alrighty, let's get these bad boys put on. Here's the cars, you know. Got the gloss black on them. They turned out very, very nice. And I don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to use, but here's the decals we're putting on this bad boy. Yep, we're making it into our Earnhardt bone shaker. So let's get these cut out and decide which ones we're going to use, be able to use, and not be able to use. Here's the interior, got it all done, painted the inside blood red, has the black sides as you can see, did the gas tank white with silver straps and silver gas cap, did the intake in gold, red valve covers, did the heat treatment to the exhaust, red eyes and white turn signals. Oh, and red, I mean black, steering wheel. And then we have the silver back end. So let's get, let's get this bad boy put together. Here's the body, nice and shiny. This thing has like three coats of clear on it, so it ought to shine pretty good out in the sunlight. This is a really fun build, and I plan on doing more of them actually. If anybody's interested, this one's going to be raffled off on my Instagram page. But, with that stated, if you're interested in one, let me know. And by all means, we can work something out. Let's get the interior in. If you remember, I had to do some filing and stuff so this will fit. Look how good that goes in now. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But this is an overall very, very fun build. I'm fixing to give you the reveal. We now have it together. So I now bring to you the Earnhardt Bone Shaker. Doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it all for the three of you. I'm doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it all for the three of you. 